and welcome to another shading video. This one's going to be a lot simpler, I promise. That bird was crazy town, but we had fun with the bird. Um, and in, re in reality, that bird, I'm still working on it. But I thought while that bird is drying, we can get started on something a little bit simpler. This is just going to be a little angel wing pendant. Um, it's sitting on this thing because there's a little, there's some stuff on the back. And so I like to work with things nice and flat. And it's gonna be all shades of really pretty pale and uh, the dark blue is really going to serve to highlight the shape of these wings. All right, so let's get started. Um, we are gonna, I'm gonna start with literally the easiest part, which would be these little swoops. Because I normally start there, but I've decided we're gonna start with the swoops. And I'm going to do a little bit of L61. This one's this, this color right here. Uh, light water blue and then the 55 very pale water blue um, just as you know because we want to have it dark to light to dark because we just want to give it a little bit of three-dimensionality so I'm going to actually start by getting a little water on this piece because you know capillary action will help draw and I guess you could dip the whole piece in water but it seems that would only work for the first time if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with, um, make sure we're good. I'm gonna start with the darker area, and this is the, the light water blue, which is gonna be our darker shade. And I'm gonna put a blob right there. And see how, because we put water in, it just grabs it and pulls it into that little channel. And I'm gonna go a little light, because this piece is actually fairly subtly colored, which I know, it's crazy town. So, so you can see I put a little blob, another little blob, and so we have nothing in the middle, but we are going to remedy that by putting some of our very pale blue right in the middle. And I'm still going to maintain the little no man's land between these two colors because that is going to be our blending, which I feel kind of bad about because it's just, just, blending is just scooching. It's, so you can see I'm putting a nice little pile right in the middle. And you can see because there's so much water, they're already wanting to visit each other, which is good. So let me just clean my brush. And, you know, we're just gonna introduce these two colors in the no man's land. Um, if I can get my brush there. It's hard to do. There we go. See how I'm just in that no man's land. We're just gently going back and forth. Done for that. And then the same thing goes over here. We'll bring a little out. Hey, how are you, color? Well, I'm a little darker. I'm a little lighter. And now, look, they've come to an understanding in the middle. Perfect. And obviously, um, we will adjust this in the second firing if we feel like it was a little too sudden or abrupt. Um, but there you go. There is a little bit of blending on that thing. So let's go ahead and do that again because... Why not? It's super fun. Did I put water? Yeah. All right, a little blob on the end. And a little blob. And this is a little shorter. And you can see I kind of flubbed this line. It doesn't meet entirely, but I decided that I was okay with it. <laughs> well, mostly because it's all very lightly colored. And in the end, uh, although now I just pointed it out to the whole world. You'll all know that there's like a little gap between these two. Um, you really would not have noticed. Well, you probably would have. But um, I've decided that I was, I was ex that was an acceptable parameter for me. And so I'm going to add a little bit in our no man's land of this H55. Very pretty. And then we'll just have like a little getting to know you meeting between these two colors. I'm going to get clean my brush a little bit and then just gently so, Oh, see I'm blocking the view aren't I? So I'm not necessarily looking to see. There we go. How's that? Little bit of back and forth in there. Little bit of back and forth in there. Perfect. And then we'll do that last little one. Um, it's a lot shorter, um, so we're going to keep it even simpler. There's a little blurb and a little 
little blurb right here. There's barely enough space in the middle, but you know what? I can make it happen. And then our very light, a single blob right in the middle. And literally not as much blending because there's not that much. I don't want to lose this light area. There we go. Done with that, those little guys. All right, and so here's my plan. Um, because this is going to be, this is this color right here. This is this really dark blue, which almost is going to be the same. It was going to be, it's going to play like it's a um, opaque. And so we're not even going to do this dark color. We're going to do all these other light colors and fire it and then come back and do this, this blue. And also I can see that I need to push this little wire down because there we go. Um, so anyway, let's move along. All right, moving along, um, I'm going to do some of these feathers next. Um, kind of right here, right there, and right there. And I'm going to, we kind of use kind of like the water blues for this little band. And so I'm going to kind of uh, shake things up with the shades of blue and go more with an ultramarine right next, just to give it a little bit of, you know, interest, visual interest. So I'm going to do this uh, very light ultramarine and this very light blue L69, um, which I think will be nice. And so let's get started. And I'm going to um, basically, maybe I'm going to start, let me scooch it around. Is that terrible? Yeah. And yeah, and then I can hear the children next door, bless their hearts. All right, um, we're going to do right here. Um, I'm gonna do a little, cause there's a little shadow. And you can see how dry it is, I'm not pleased with that. So let's go ahead and add some water. Add some water, a lot of water. Sometimes with these bigger pieces, they just, you know, you need to add some water even just because. All right, so I've added a little bit of water and I've got my medium ultramarine, which is going to be my shadow color. And I'm just going to pick it because, you know, it's underneath those little bands. We're just imagining that those little bands are holding our little angel wings in place. I don't know the logistics between that, but it certainly makes sense. And then, you know, I'm also going to put it under here. See how I'm like just putting this slightly darker color right where our shapes are because they're going to make each of these little feathers pop. So you, they're not going to get lost because there's, these are some really pale colors here. So and that one's, but you can see how I've just kind of done like that. And I could conceivably, you know what, I'm going to do these two layers. I'm going to do this whole thing separately, but I think I could do work on these two things because I kind of want them to be fairly uniform. So I'm going to continue with my dark, keeping everything nice and wet. Yes. And that one's a little bit short, but we'll work on that. And do a little bit as possible there because I want to make sure I have room for the lighter color. There we go. So, and the water's kind of pulling it, not necessarily where exactly where I wanted to go yet. So, we'll kind of do some adjustments before we add our lighter color. But you can see how we're already getting this kind of nice shadow happening which will be good. All right, um, before we get any farther, I'm going to kind of maybe even pull out a little bit of the moisture because sometimes it's easier to, there we go, pull out just a hair of the moisture. And I'm gonna scooch right here, see if I can do I'm just gonna have to get my hand in there. Oh my goodness. Pivot it up, scooch that color out. 
because now's the time. There we go. Because I just want to open that up a little bit. Same goes here. All right, so I find that is good. So now I'm going to go to my next color. Um, I had an idea while I was doing that that I'm actually going to do three colors. I'm going to use that very light blue that I was talking about as the middle color. And then I'm going to do go back to our N55, which is what we used for this very pale color, and use that as the palest color in these feathers. Um, and I know it's crazy tan. So I'm just literally going to put a drop, a dollop of my pale color right in each of these little guys. And we see that no man's land in between and I'm, you know, getting the color in place. Um, and I'm not being shy with these colors. I'm kind of doing like a blob. Um, it's more like a blob than it is painting. Um, see, I have like a whole mess. It's not a mess. It's a blob. That's the official word. So I'm going to put one in each of these. Um, this one's, that one doesn't have any room to do a ton of work, so we're probably just going to do, that one won't be as, it won't have the three colors, it'll just have the two. Things are getting dry already, that's fine. And a little bit on each of these. A little bit, a little bit. And remember, we're gonna do two or three coats of color, so you don't have to go super dark on this first. It's really to kind of block, block out the highlights in the dark, the dark areas. There we go. Last two little bits, and then, and then we can. Put that right there. All right, so you can see where we've got a little on each side and that no man's land in between, which um, you could conceivably just blend these two together, but I'm going to use this other. It's kind of a really pretty, it's the same tone as that, um, but it's, a, it's one of my favorite blues. It is almost like a periwinkle color, but it is called very light blue, again, with the original names. If I had an enamel company, I would definitely come up with better names. They would be so unique. And I am just, see how I'm just putting it in the middle, making sure everything's wet. Got a nice, and I'm kind of blending as I go. Like, so now I'm gonna put and blend, put and blend. Because they're really close to each other. And so the blending really just consists of, you know, just kind of eyeballing and making sure this dark one blends just a little bit because these two sh shades of blue are so similar but you'll be able to tell they'll just by nature being next to each other they will magically blend together there we go there we go get a little bit more And here, look, I'm doing three at a time. There we go. This must be very exciting to watch. All right, I'm going to do these. And that clicking in the background, that's my kiln. It is on. And things are ready to get fired. So I'm going to basically finish these and go fire that bird, which has been drying for a while, which... You may have already watched that video because I don't know if I'm going to do this as like one big video or separate videos. Um, but you'll probably watch the bird video first if it comes out. <laughs> it may come out. All right, so close, so close, so close. And now I'm being like. And you could also. If you wanted to use a little bit of that flower white on the tips of these wings to get that little bit of milkiness, 
Um, I am not going to do that for this one, but you are welcome to do whatever you want. You could totally do that. Alright, so that is that right now, and uh, we will be back soon and do the rest of this and all of that and, you know, finish it all up. All right, we are back with this one, and it's completely dry, dried out since the last time we were working on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some clean water and drop it onto these enamels, because if I try to put some enamel here next to this bone dry bit of enamel, it's going to just suck up the moisture, like the water bed sucks up your heat when it's not properly heated. All right, so and I'm going to do a little bit of shading this way, and then also a little bit along the edge of each of these little guys. So we'll start with our light ultramarine. And I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna go kinda light and a lot wetter. It's a big space, it needs a lot of water. There we go, that's probably more water than we need. Let's see if I can get my brush in there. So we've got a little bit of shadow going this way, which is fine. And see, we need more water. Big space. Big spaces need a little bit of put a little bit of water right there. Boop. And here we have Alrighty. See how we got a little bit more in this one than we wanted? I'm gonna just suck up a little bit of that moisture. It's harder if it's too wet, it's hard to get scooch things around because it's just like a pool. And then I can kind of use my brush and push that back up there because that's kind of what closer to what we want. And I'm actually going to kind of work one feather at a time this way. So this might get pretty dry as we go um, because I am going to keep with this light aquamarine and a lot more water. There we go. And I'm just going to hug Hug the edge with just a little bit. A little bit will do you, because I don't really want to take this too dark. Just to kind of make that edge pop. See how we're just dragging that slightly darker color right there. Yeah, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go... Yeah, that's right. I am going to do maybe more than one at a time. So, I can see... Because if I have just a little bit, we can go like that. See how I'm just kind of doing one edge like that. I'm going to continue on keeping everything wet problem with like these bigger pieces it, it just dries so fast so we're just going to drag it like this see how it's getting dry already that's all right because I'm gonna get a little bit water and just see if we can do something like that I know it looks a little sloppy I think we will be pleased. Ultimately. And I'm going to call that good for now. All right, and then I'm going to do my switch to my very light blue, which is a little bit more of a pale purple blue and I'm just going to set it in here I'm so not pleased with the lack of moisture here let me literally get a 
couple good drops. There we go. That's a lot. There we go. That's a lot of water. Now that's a lot of water. All right, so. I know we're going to just start on this end. Like that. And the same goes for over here. Watch me blot a little bit of this. There we go. And then we're going to kind of end on this water blue, which you know I love so much. Let me get this little doll up. It's a little subtle, um, but you know, I'd rather kind of do a little less than go far too dark. Um, and what I've decided is I think it would be better. I'm going to get rid of this dark color right there because, look, I got everything all wet and now it's running where I don't want it to. Um, sometimes the simplest things can be the most challenging. So here we go, our light color right on the tip there. Tip like that. I'll put a tip right there, there we go. Then we can kind of see where we're going here. This is making me more pleased. Okay, so a little bit more of this lighter stuff. Scooch that. And just a little bit there. There we go. And then we'll fill our little no man's land with the other color. Which There we go. And it looks a little muddy, but once we get this little blue ridge, which makes these guys pop, I think that you'll kind of see where we are going. There we go. Sometimes you just got to get some color in here and then kind of decide if that's what you want or not. Yeah, that's good. You know what? And I am going to blend this a little bit more. There we go. Let's see. There we go. You can kind of see how we have you know, this darker ultramarine going into this very light blue going into the water with just a hair along the edge. And obviously we'll punch that up in the second one, but for the first one, that's good. And now I'm just gonna do this curly Q thing, which I'm gonna do opposite of what I drew because I'm gonna do light, or am I? Light here into the darker, yes. I think that sounds like a plan. So we're going to start in the middle or, oh, hold on to me. We, there we go. And let's start the lightest in the middle. Just being nice and wet here because I don't want there to be sitting on top of an air pocket. And just in case, you can get your poker or the end of a, just to poke everything down, make sure nothing is terrible. So we've got that. 
and then I've got this other color which is a slightly more purple version of that same color. I'm just going to I'm going to wrap that color all the way around to there and then I'm going to do a little bit more because we're going to do some blending and then I'm going to get my light ultramarine and just kind of stick it over here look at this huge lump oh my goodness it's crazy town that's alright because I'm going to spread it out there's a lot of space there and I'm going to kind of blend these two together by you know I've made my little no man's land and then we have a little meeting in the middle And I might in the next one wrap that little bit of dark right up around there like that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take this to this darker color over here. Yeah, I like that actually better because it's kind of wraps around like that. And let's just all right, this is ready to be fired because I'm going to do this really dark color uh, next, not in this one because it would be so easy to to mess it up and have it get sucked into this really light area. So we're going to fire this. All right, so you can see that we have fired this piece and um, it's looking pretty good. I like how subtle it is and normally if I were just totally on my own, I would do a second coat of these real pale colors. But just so you can kind of see the background, I'm going to go ahead and do um, this, this really vivid blue. It is LT74 Dark Blue. Um, and it's going to go in all these little crevices to kind of make these wings pop. Um, and if for some reason, this is where we're going to kind of play it by ear, if it really feels like it's going underneath, like into these other spaces, um, we might back up and, and do another coat here. But let's. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Alrighty. And probably a little, not too much water because I don't want a lot of traveling. And I'm also going to have to kind of fuss with it so I can get to it. Um, and we'll just get started. Let's see how we go. This is one of those things where you have to just see how things are going. And this is a really, really vivid dark blue. It's cobalt. It's very, certainly in one of my, it's in my top 10 colors of just like go-to cobalt blues. Go-to cobalt blues, you know, as one does. And I'm just being real careful that it's not going to travel where it doesn't want to go. So one little blob in each of these little areas and I am just have, keeping my eye out. And it's these that are going to be problematic because I, I know there's a little gap, but let's find out. It is satisfying to do these darker colors.
there we go. And before I go any farther, I'm just going to take my little poker and just make sure that there's no air pockets, that everything is good. There we go. And I see that everything looks good. Nothing's traveled. Now we're going to do the harder bits. That was like the easy part. Probably should have started with the harder ones. Um, especially since I can I'm gonna get these out of the way. Let's see. Where is the best way to attack it from? I'm actually going to go like this. This thing's good. Let's see. Make sure you can see it. There we go. And, oh, do I want to get a little water in there? But yeah, we want water, but not too much water. We don't want, it's funny, it's like there's the right amount of water to keep things damp, but I don't want so much water that it's getting sucked into the leaves. So really we're going with a little less, but kind of see how wet, how much water I have in my actual enamel. It's pretty wet. Um, and I just kind of tilt it like this so the water pools at the bottom here, and then I scoop it from the top. That's how you can keep it damp but not so runny that you can't pick up a little blob. All right, let's do it. Talked about it long enough. I'm just going to and I kind of do this little wiggling thing with the brush just to Get it in there. It is kind of like that game um, operation, which I, I was terrible at. You think, well, I think it was the stress. Like, I swear, if someone were behind me with like a buzzer and every time I touched the wrong thing, they'd do this little buzzer, I probably wouldn't be very good at this. Um, I did not like that buzzer. And again, we're gonna go with the poker and make sure that this enamel is all the way down. Because sometimes with these little bits, it can just kind of attach itself to the side of the wire. See right there, I, can, I know there's an air pocket there. And also I can see there's a little, see this thing right here? Let's take that out. There we go. And one more little blob right here. And right here. Right. And now poking. I'm gonna have to. It's hard to get around here. I know this is looking really awkward, but it's just because the camera's in the way. And now my hand was in the way, but anyway, use the pokey tool and poke. All right, uh, last little bit. Last little bit. Let's see. I'm going to be trying to be extra careful with this one. Because remember, there was that gap that we were talking about. that everyone is now aware of. But if I am careful, this visually will also close the gap. A little water. There we go. Um, all right, I'm going to just use my little pokey tool, and then we are going to let that dry and fire it. I know that doesn't seem like a lot of enamel to fire, but that should seal up any little bits and pieces. And then in the next one, we'll do 
all of our really pale colors and maybe even, you know, do it all in one fell swoop. All right, see you in a bit after firing. Well, I have fired this piece, and so it has a single coat of color over the whole thing, and I like it. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a second coat on the whole thing. And if you remember, we have four shades of blue here, um, two waters and two kind of ultramarines. And I'm gonna start exactly where we started with the last one with these little swooshy things. Um, let's see if I can get a good, Get a little bit of water in there and we'll start with the the big one and work our way down and so let's see get a little bit of this water blue right here remember because we're gonna do just a little tiny dollop right on each end just to kind of give it that little sense of three-dimensionality like it's kind of rounded up like that and we're still going to keep things really light so I'm just going to fill in the middle part right here And then, once I get all that in, see, we've got a little bit of a line. I'm just gonna gently swish these two things back and forth to do a little bit of shading. I guess that's why we're here for the blending. The blending's the easy part. I guess it's deciding where the blending needs to happen. That's difficult. All right, and so let's continue on. A little dollop of the darker color right there and right here you know what might as well you know what I'm not actually even gonna go darker on that I'm gonna stay light on that third one we've got a little bit in the middle There we go. And then a little bit of swoosh and a little bit of swoosh. And here I'm just going to go entirely with just the, the lightest blue because I actually don't want that to go too dark there. So we're just going to do light blue right there. All right, and now we've got all these little leaves. Let's have a thought about how we're gonna do them. And we've got a little bit of shadow here going into the lightness. So let's go back to our little ultramarine as our shadow. And just a little dollop in each of these little areas. And a little one, just to pick out these leaves, leaves, feathers, they're feathers. I'm going to get even lighter on that one. Just the barest amount in this one. It's such a small little space. All right, so you know what, let's do all, let's do both of these all at once. Look, I'm feeling bold. So yeah, a little blob in each of these. And actually, I'm not going to put any in those last two because they're too small and I don't want them to go dark. I'd rather them be light. I am going to go with this one. And a little 
little bit more. There we go. All right, and then our next color, um, we're gonna do the tips, which is the very pale water. And again, I'll back up to here and a little blob on the tip of each. And a little bit more water would be good. getting a little dry, but I'm going to move forward anyway. Uh, nope, I'm going to add a little water. So yeah, just a little on the tip of each feather. And this one, there we go, right like that. All right, and then we're gonna switch to our other kind of more purpley blue. You see we have like a little space in between. You could just blend those with some water, but I'm introducing, because you know me and extra colors, I'm introducing actually a, an intermediary color, right? In the middle there, which will go a long way. Just has a little bit of depth. It's just not quite so flat color-wise. There we go. I'm gonna skip that one because it's pretty full. Let's get, and I'm just placing things right now. I haven't done any blending. Um, it's gonna be the a little bit of blending. But for the most part, these colors are very, very close. So just kind of sitting them next to each other you know, it's half your half the battle is half done. So let's go ahead and stick that one in there. And then I'm just gonna get a little water and I'm just ever so slightly gonna go and kinda blend these together. Especially like right there we got a little That is good. Let's do these these other tips right here. Let's see. Spin you around. And we're gonna go back and do the exact same thing. A little bit of shadow along here. A little bit of shadow. Shadow. It's a bit much. I'm gonna go in a little heavy handed, but let's see. The barest amount right there. Let's get that little guy. And if we're gonna drag it down, let's drag it along the side a little bit. See how we're just doing it like that. All right, and it's just a little bit along this edge just to kind of pop it out just a hair. Taking out a little bit of this and pin it over there. There we go. All right, and I know it looks super messy, but we will do the exact same thing. We're going to go do the tips and then come back and fill in the middle. 
exactly the same, except a little bit larger space. So there's, you definitely want more water. Just put in a little water on there. There we go. A nice, a nice size blob of this on each end. And these last three probably are going to be just these two colors, but we'll see. They're not very big. There we go. And then we're going to get a little bit of that other blue in the middle. Let's see. Let's set that right in there. Hugging the And we'll do more blending, but I'm just gonna get everything kind of laid in. I know it looks super messy, but you know that's half. Half the time, it's just kind of an in that weird in-between stage. All right, so I've got all my enamels on the piece, and I'm gonna kind of go back and do blending with a very wet brush to just smooth out these transitions in between a little bit of water. And actually, you know what I don't like? I feel like I've got a little too much of that ultramarine here. Let's scoop out, see how that gross that is? Oh, it's disgusting. I'm gonna scoop it out because I didn't, there's too much. I think I just went a little heavy handed, so I'm just scooping it out. And we're gonna try it again, I think. The tiniest amount of this. And then more of the. There we go. I like that better. Just a little bit. It was just muddy. It was starting to get too muddy. And you'll get a sense as you know, as you do it, of how things are gonna turn out. If things are starting to get muddy, just wash it off or scoop out that little spot, spend a little bit of time. So you can fix a bunch of things, but best to fix them before or be happy with everything before you go in. All right, I'm kind of, I like that that transition there. So we're going to go ahead and do this little area and then we're going to fire it. I'm not going to try to get these little dark blues in because that is hubris. That would definitely be asking for trouble. So, here we go. I'm starting with my very light water in the middle. I'm probably even going to Bring it around a little bit longer. If I can get a piece of this, I'm going to actually pull it around right about there. Because I just wanted a little bit more of that. And then I've got more purplish. And we'll mix that in a second. I'm just setting it there temporarily. Well, not temporarily, it's gonna be there, but we're gonna do some blending. All right, so that's fine. Go back in and do a little bit of blending with this. That's good. And then let's get our ultramarine. And it's a little, you know, I'm debating. Do I have the really dark ultramarine? No, I'm not going to. I was thinking of putting a little extra dark right there, but then I thought that I thought better of it. We're trying to be subtle here. Best not to go too heavy-handed. Alrighty, and then we're going to blend these in. Ooh, big dollop of water. Whenever I get a good drop like that, I'm like, oh yeah, there we go. 
And the water really just goes a long way to smoothing out all your colors. All right, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna fire it. And then we will do one more coat of this and that is probably gonna be it for our color layers. Well, I have gone ahead and fired it, and then I also skipped ahead and added the little second coat of these little blue things, just because you already saw it. You kind of know what, what that's all about. And so this has two coats of color over the entire thing. Um, and I am I'm pleased with the color. I don't want to go any darker. And so at this point, I am going to um, switch to the clear. And so let's do that. And I'm probably gonna put three coats of clear, but I'm just gonna show you one because the second, the, they're all the coats will go on exactly the same. So you can just, if you really wanna get a sense of it, you can watch it three times. So let's just get a lot of water here. And I like to wet pack. Every time I teach this, everyone always asks if you can sift it. Sure, you can try if that works for you. I am a wet packer, so that's what I'm gonna do. God, that sounded dirty, but <laughs> it's not. Anyway, I'm just gonna start wherever. Now I'm like, now it's uncomfortable. And this is the N4 clear. Um, but you could use whatever clear you like. I like this one because it stays nice and clear. It doesn't turn yellow. But again, you should definitely test and see what works for you. And yeah, I'm going a little thick on this. But you know what? That's just how I am. That's how I roll. So we're just going to... Also, when you get to place it and you can kind of adjust, you know, some areas just need a little bit more so you can kind of eyeball that as you go along so which you wouldn't get if you were sifting just seems like there'd be a lot of grind extra grinding if you sifted it I feel like I'm so down on sifting now probably should just try sifting one time it's probably the way to go There's something to be said about everything seems to be getting dry because I keep pausing <laughs> to chat with people. Art space is open to the public and there's lots of artist studios here. And so occasionally you'll hear some interesting things in the background. So that's what that is, if you, especially if you hear children. All right, so we're so close to this. It's getting so dry. And there we go. And it's really important with these clear layers to make sure that they are really dry before we fire them because we don't want them to get cloudy or little pock marks from, you know, some if it's if it's wet, you might get some little micro air pockets in there. So let's just let it dry. And you'll know that it's dry because it kind of looks like crystallized sugar. It'll be white. And there we go. All right, so we are, if you really want to speed up the process, you can do a little bit of, look how dirty that is, I probably shouldn't use that, a little bit of blotting. Let's see if we can do that. The trick is to do the blotting without scooching the enamels. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let that dry and then fire it. <laughs> 